second. Hi guys, welcome back to 35th part of the Arduino tutorials and also the fourth part on the joystick series. In the previous video, we have already seen how you can control the servo motor using the joystick module. So extending that tutorial, today we'll be using the same concept and the basics and try to build a servo motor based robotic arm which you can control with two joystick modules. So before continuing this video, please make sure you also watch our previous tutorial and you will be able to find the link in the description box. The components required for this tutorial are Arduino board, two joystick modules, three servo motors. I'm using the SG90 micro servo motor. We need one external 5 volt supply. In my case, I have chosen this mobile charger, breadboard and jumper wires. To make the robotic frame, I'll be using this C-channel aluminium pieces of length 10 cm and for the base, a small plywood piece. Now we'll start with the assembly. These small servo motors cannot handle more weight. Just for the demonstration purpose, I'll be using these motors. First I'll be mounting one servo motor on the base plate. So which will be for the horizontal or the x-axis movement. And the second servo motor, this will be for vertical or y-axis movements. And using the last servo motor, I'll be making the object picking mechanism in a simple way. Moving on to the connections, I'll take this 5V and ground from the Arduino onto the breadboard. From the joystick one, the 5V and ground goes to the Arduino 5V and ground. The X and Y axis goes to Arduino analog pins A0 and A1. Similarly from Joystick 2, the 5V and ground goes to Arduino 5V and ground and here only the X axis connected to Arduino analog pin A2. From the servo motors, I'll take this positive and negative terminals common onto the breadboard which are red and brown. And as I've explained before, I'll be using this mobile charger as an external power supply to power the servo motors. So here I'll be connecting the positive and the ground. And also make sure you connect Arduino and the power supply ground in common. Next, we have signal pins from all three servo motors which will be connected to Arduino digital pins 3, 4 and 5. If you face any difficulties, you can get the circuit link in the description box. Coming to the code, we'll use the basic concept from my previous tutorial. There I have already explained how you can control a single servo motor using the joystick. 
So in this code, I'll not go each line. I'll just explain in a brief way what does each section do. We have declared the servo header file. And we have two joysticks here. From first joystick, we'll be using both the axes X and Y connected to A0 and A1. And from the second joystick, we'll use only the X axis. So by default, we'll keep all the servo shafts at zero degree. So I've declared three positions and initialize with zero. And we have to declare three servo objects. So in the setup, I have declared this input and output devices. And by default, I have made all three servo shaft to zero degree. And coming to the loop section, first we have read the values coming from the joystick. So this is for joystick one. And this value is from joystick two. And after this, just printing all those values on the serial monitor. So this is from where the actual logic starts for controlling the servo motor. And this explanation you can get it from a previous tutorial. So there we had only one if else block for one servo motor. So similar logic I have copied for servo two and servo three. So that's it how the code flow is. You can get the circuit and the code link in the description box. We'll upload this and see how it works. So logic wise, it's working as expected, but we can see some vibrations because this micro servo motors cannot handle more weight. But if you go with high torque servo motors, then you'll get good results. So that's all for this video guys. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. For code and circuit diagram, visit the link in the description box. Stay tuned for more Arduino tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in another interesting one.